Welcome to the 61st episode of Learn and Speak Tamil Like a Native. Today we are going to see an interesting topic that is Can a Malayalam speaker benefit out of this channel? How close is Malayalam and Tamil? The answer is they are very close languages. In fact, you will find most of the words in Tamil and Malayalam to be very similar. If there is a language that Malayalam speaker and Tamil speaker can learn in the shortest possible time, Of course, it is Malayalam for Tamil speakers and Tamil for Malayalam speakers. Especially if you can understand some basic English, this series of language lessons can be very helpful. And every time I listen to someone speaking Malayalam, I was of the impression, wow, what a sweet sounding language. The words are so endearing and this particularly encouraged me to learn Malayalam and I'm still learning. Now we are going to see several examples to confirm or just to attest that the both the languages are very close. Let us see the first one that is I in English. I in Tamil we say that as na. In Malayalam it is nyan. Na, nyan. You becomes ni and in Malayalam it's again ni. He becomes avan. In Malayalam it gets a slightly nasal sound that's avan. Avan, Avan. Now let us see this sentence. I have to go. Enikki poganam. That is Malayalam. And in Tamil that becomes Enakku pogano. Enakku pogano. Enikki poganam. Enakku pogano. That's the slight difference. Let's see the next one. I'll come tomorrow. Nyan nala varum. Nyan nala varum. That's Malayalam. In Tamil, that becomes na nala ki vare. Na nala ki vare. Nyan nala varum. Na nala ki vare. What is your name? In Malayalam, you say that as Ningalode pair en danu. Ningalode pair en danu. In Tamil, that becomes Ungaloda Pair Enna. Ungaloda Pair Enna. See, it's such a nice and close language, probably one adapted out of another. And there's this word Ningal, meaning you. In Tamil, we say that Ninga, Ninga, Ningal in Malayalam becomes Ninga. Now, let us see the whole set of pronouns. That becomes, you know, every time you understand that some of the words are so close by, it be very encourage for, encouraging for you to learn the language. And that's how I learned the language because I felt almost all the words are same. It's just the arrangements. A few words here and there are different. But that's okay because if the words are going to be almost the same, it becomes another dialect not another language but malayalam has its unique flavor a beautiful language with its own construction of words very close to tamil and let us now see all the pronoun here i nyan in malayalam it becomes na in tamil he becomes avan in malayalam avan in tamil she gets to aval ava in tamil aval Aval in Tamil. You becomes ni and that is ni again in Tamil. You formal gets ningal and that becomes ningal in Tamil. Tangal that becomes ungal, your. And tangal is also used in Tamil in a very prose and poetic or also in literary and in text form in a formal Tamil as well. So there's always, you know, I see when somebody speaks Malayalam, it's a mix of, it's the very a language which has been used. Many of the words what people speak in Malayalam or could be, they could be words from very poetic Tamil, from a very literary Tamil. It is idu, adu is Again, idu, adu.
we are going to see a verb now that is come to come in malayalam you say come varu in tamil it is va vannu that is came and that becomes a vandu taan a vandu plus something in tamil that's been conjugated in malayalam for future tense you say i'll come he will come varum and again that come becomes a varu plus something in malayalam that's conjugated in tamil whereas in malayalam it is not conjugated everything becomes like in english it will come in tamil it gets conjugated so that's the difference between malayalam and tamil when it comes to verb arrangements conjugations especially now let us see another sentence now what did you do ningal ennaanu cheyathu ningal ennaanu cheyathu neenga enna senjinga that is tamil see it's now usually you feel like they very close it's just that there's a slight difference in each of the words ningal ennaanu cheyathu neenga enna senjinga i have already uploaded several short videos all using very simple methods and pictures you'll find them in green blue and purple colors the green ones are very short simple phrases and the blue ones are simple conversation and the purple ones are simple grammar using phrases i'm coming with you nyan inda kude varan na unga kude vare will you come with me ningal enda kude varumo ningal enda kude varumo neenga yen kude varingala neenga yen kude varingala and again there was a very interesting prob maybe it's a very casual one that i came across i in a movie and there was no it was very easy for me to understand it though it's a proverb and it was it meant when in rome do what romans do i think that's the closest meaning or that's the closest proverb i can explain it was in a movie called i don't remember it said naadodumbol naduva odanam naadodumbol naduva odanam and it then it was such a easy for me to understand that naadodumbol means when the when everyone runs just go get along with them naadodumbodu naduva odanam this could be if i try to translate that into tamil it's going to be naadodumbodu and the only difference is naadu means in malayalam probably they is a town is the small place whereas in tamil naadu becomes the country so naadu odumbod naduve odanam naadu odumbod naduva odanam that is how if i translate it it gets again very close but if i want to translate that precisely i would say oor odumbod naduva odanam oor means the town or the village now let's see another sentence where did you sleep evadiyana ningal urangiyathu evadiyana ningal urangiyathu enga neenga thoonginga enga neenga thoonginga again urangiyathu is used urangirathu that is used more literally it's used in the formal context in tamil so that's that's as i said before the words in malayalam are some of the words are being used in formal tamil that is in the classical tamil literary tamil and some of the words are used in day to day conversation what is your favorite film ninde ishta patta padam edanu ninde ishta patta padam edanu ungalku ishta patta yes of course we use it but alternatively we also use pudicha ungalku pudicha or you can also say ishta patta that's a little more formal ungalku ishta patta padam enna what ninde ishta patta padam edanu ungalku ishta patta or pudicha padam enna how far should we go namakku etra dooram poganam that's in malayalam in tamil we say nama evlo dooram poganam namakku etra dooram poganam nama evlo dooram poganam 
And now we are going to see some of the words which has a slightly different meaning in Tamil from Malayalam, though it's used in, though the same words are used in Tamil and Malayalam. Say, for instance, in Malayalam they say vellam for water, and in Tamil vellam means flood. Nadu is used for for town or a native, but Nadu means country in Tamil. So the same words are used, but with a slightly different meaning. Ravel is morning in uh, in Malayalam, whereas it's in the night, in the night, in English, uh, in Tamil. What is your name? Peru in In Tamil, you say Peru in Nadu. Peru in Nadu. Or you can also say Peru in my name is Viji. Enda peru Viji. Enda peru Viji. Yen peru Viji. That is in Tamil. Glad to meet you. Kandadil sandosham. That's how you say that in Malayalam. <coughs> Paathadil sandosham. Paathadil sandosham. That is how you say that in Tamil. Kandadil. But Kandadil is also why I've given a small asterisk is you can Kandadil is again a very poetic or a literary form Kandadil in by seeing in seeing Sandosham when someone says Kandadil Sandosham people can understand but it may sound a little poetic in Tamil thank you so much Valera Nanni Valera Nanni in Tamil that becomes Rumba Nandri and Valera is again, you know, it's used in Tamil, it means something that grows. So it's maybe it means hugely thankful, hugely thank you or something like that. Let's see the next one. I think we have seen so many things. It's almost like close, close words, close, close sentence, close sounds. The next one is also going to be equally close, like Choru Venam means I want tries. And in Tamil we say soru, though that is not so often used, we'd rather say sadam. But soru also means rice. Sadam means, mm, yes, of course, rice. Soru, sadam. But I would say soru could be understood, but sadam is more widely used. Sadam venam. Soru venam. Where is the nearest idiom? Aduthulla ADM every Pakkatile ATM Enga Erike. Aditha in Tamil means next. So well that again makes sense. Where's the next ADM? Aduthulla ATM every ana. Pakkatile ATM Enga Erike. How much for the taxi? Taxi ke etra ruba agum. Taxi ke. Etre ruba agum. Taxi yavolo ruba agum. That's in Tamil. So taxi etre ruba agum. Taxi yavolo ruba agum. I have to get down here. Eniki evade eranganam. In Tamil that becomes yenak inge erangano. Eniki evade eranganam. Yenak inge erangano. What is the price? In the Vilayana, Yenna Vela, that is in Tamil. In the Vilaya, Vilayana, Yenna Vela. The next one is, I don't agree. Nyan Samadikanella. Na Samadikela. You would use the word idhik, meaning for this one. Na Samadikela. Or you can also say, Na Uttukala. So these are also even very. This just shows how close the languages, the both the languages are. It is nice. Nanna irkunna. Nalla irk. Did you take shower? Nikulicho. In Tamil that becomes Nikulichia. Nikulicho. Nikulichia. Did you read? Ni padicho. Ni padichia. Ni padichia, ni padicho. Ni padichia. 
What do you want for breakfast? Ravila Karikan in the Venum Kalele Sapada in the Veno Kalele Sapada in the Veno. Did you return the bike? Bike Thirchikuduto Bike Thirchikuduto Bike Thirpikurthia Bike Thirpikurthia Did you read the lessons? Ningal lesson vaicho. Ningal lesson was vaicho. Ningal lesson was chingla. And was chingla is in Tamil generally it is understood as something reading out loud or studying or and reading the lessons aloud for you to remember. Now let us see some numbers. Again, like any other things, even numbers are almost not almost they're very they are similar except for the, the slight accent difference I, I i it's going to be very difficult for me to do because i'll try to lean more towards tamil but a malayali can very well understand it one becomes one in tamil again it's one in malayalam two becomes a render in tamil and render in malayalam three is moon moon four is nale nale in tamil Five is Anj, Anj in Malayalam, in Tamil. Ten is Patte, in Tamil it becomes Patte. Twenty becomes Irubadhi in Malayalam, it's Irubadhi in Tamil. Hundred in Malayalam is Noor, in Tamil it is Noor. Thousand is Ayram in Malayalam, in Tamil it is Ayram. Again we are going to see some of the commonly used relationship that is son is magan in malayalam in tamil it is magan daughter is magal in malayalam in tamil it is magal girl is pen in tamil it is ponnu we is nyangal in tamil it is nangal you is ningal and it, in Tamil it is Nigal. And the last word with which I'm going to say bye as well in Malayalam is Poi Varate. Poi Varate. In Tamil it is Poi Varata. Poi Varata. Poi Varate. I understand that there could be some lapse with the way I pronounce some of the words as I was quickly switching between both the languages. But the purpose of this video is to tell how close Malayalam and Tamil are. If you're interested to learn Tamil, you can make use of my channel, which has some 60 plus videos already. All the best with your Tamil learning. Vanakkam, Vartakkal.